Hello there, boys and girls of the Minecraft universe. Centronet here with another tutorial on the channel. And today, it's all about ray tracing. I have been messing with this every day since the beta came out. And the cool thing is, is that on the NVIDIA site, they've actually given you four resource packs that you can turn on on any Minecraft world and you can actually see ray tracing in action in your favorite world. It's great, it's awesome. So there's a link down in the description for the RTX PBR texturing guide from NVIDIA. That's what I have on screen right now. Well, right behind my big old bald head. <laughs> and I'm gonna show you guys some before and afters. I'm actually really excited to see this because I'm gonna take one of my favorite maps. It's obviously four pillar survival because I love it. And I wanna see what it looks like before and after with some of these resource packs enabled. Because RTX, aside from all the Minecraft changes that they're gonna have to do, it really is just the resource pack. So I'm gonna go ahead and scroll down on this page. There's a whole bunch of great, awesome information on here, but it's mainly for people that want to be able to, to create resource packs that use ray tracing and all the good RTX stuff. If you're just a player and you're looking for something cool to do to your world, then scroll on down to NVIDIA and partner resource packs. The second paragraph here is the one that we're gonna focus on for this video, but I'll briefly talk about the first one. So they released six maps in the marketplace. I've got a video where I quickly run through them all and I did that as soon as the beta dropped. You can grab the resource packs out of those worlds and I'll probably release a video showing you guys how to do that. Like I said, today I just wanna focus on the four standalone resource packs that they've dropped here. So I'm gonna go ahead and do a little bit of reading on camera if I mess up words. Don't pick on me! You guys try it. <laughs> In addition to these worlds and their resource packs, NVIDIA is separately releasing four resource packs. Two, the HD Decorative Resource Pack and HD Foundational Resource Pack are created by NVIDIA. But due to a limitation in the current version of the, be the beta, I almost said beta because I've been watching these videos from all over the world, <laughs> they should not be activated at the same time. If you do activate them at the same time, you will see a resource pack fallback resulting in other textures down resing. Moral of the story is use the resource packs one at a time while we're in beta. The other two packs are Muddle RTX and Razzlecore RTX, and they were created by Razzleberries. Muddle RTX, out of all of these right now, is my favorite one, so that's the one I'm gonna show you first. Um, whatever steps I use to show you guys how to get that in the game and add it to your world, it's gonna be the same for all four of these. So let me go ahead and get these downloaded. You just download them by clicking on the link. I'll get them downloaded, I'll get them in a folder, and then I'll bring you guys right back. All right, guys, so I went ahead and I downloaded all four of them. But for now, I'm gonna show you guys just the muddle pack because uh, this is an awesome resource pack. And out of the four of them right now, it's my favorite. Uh, it may be that I haven't messed around with the other three enough, but we'll see as time goes on. This is the one that I played with the most and it's the one that I wanna show you guys today. So when you download it, it will download a zip file. And if I go ahead and double click that, I'm not gonna show you guys how to unzip. You guys should be able to do that. You're much smarter than I am. And here there's a Muddle RTX resource pack folder, and it has all the goodness in here that we're looking for. Now, for those of you that mess with resource packs all the time, you will see this looks like a regular resource pack. There is stuff in here that's different that takes advantage of the RTX features and it's just way more technical than I wanna get into in this video, but I might do something on it in the future. I'm gonna go, come back out here to my muddle folder. This is the uncompressed version of this zip file. I'm gonna come in here, I'm gonna go into our resource pack folder. I'm gonna grab everything that's in here by doing a control A on this screen. I'm gonna right click, I'm gonna go to copy, or you could do a control C on your keyboard. I'm gonna go back up one level. I'm going to create a new compressed zip folder. I'm gonna call this muddle. You can call it whatever you want. Like, uh, we'll go ahead and do this. We will do sub to Centronet. <laughs> Come on, gotta be goofy, right? I'm gonna go into my new compressed zip folder. I'm gonna go ahead and do a control V. You can right click and go to paste. And we're gonna take all that goodness. We're gonna put it in our compressed folder. I'm gonna go back up one level. Here is our compressed folder that we've been dealing with this whole time. 
I'm gonna right click, I'm gonna go down to rename and I'm gonna take this zip at the end and I'm gonna change this to MC Pack. Now, if you guys cannot see the dot zip, when you go to rename this, go over to view and put a check right here in file name extensions and then you will be able to see the dot zip so that you can rename it. All right, now I'm gonna go ahead and double click on this. It is gonna launch Minecraft so that we can actually import that pack and we can use it in our world. And don't worry, I didn't forget. I told you guys I was gonna do a before and after. We're gonna do that. So up top you can see import started. So it is taking that resource pack that uses all the RTX goodness, the muddle one from Razzleberries, and it imported it successfully. I'm gonna come over here to play beta because we're still in the beta. And if you guys are watching this from the future, it's probably not a beta, but it should be the exact same steps. But here's our muddle world. This does not have a resource pack in it. I just named it the way that I wanted it to be named. I'm gonna go ahead and click on play beta right here so I can show you guys a before and after. Ready? All right, so this is my four pillar survival take two world. We've got a boatload of episodes under our belt, but this is the one that I decided to pick on. Uh, let me go ahead and go into creative game mode C, so we can fly around. There's my slime farm, my crop farms. There is a uh, snow dude. <laughs> there's all my mob farm and other farm goodness up there. There's my tree farm and here's the Ark of Centronet. As you guys can see, it looks like good old fashioned Minecraft, but let's fight to spice this up a bit. And I'm gonna show you guys what this thing looks like with ray tracing enabled. I'm gonna come over here and edit. We're gonna come back down to resource packs. If I go under my packs, you will see right there, Muddle RTX Edition. Love it. I'm gonna go ahead and activate it. And if you come up to active, you will now see that it is active for this world. Let's go ahead and jump back into play beta and prepare to be astonished because I was the first, wow, <laughs> the first time I saw this. I mean, look at this, this is crazy. Now, I don't have any lighting over here on the arc, so it doesn't look quite as impressive, but uh, the muddle texture pack has a whole bunch of like medieval stuff in it. Look at this, look at the torches. <laughs> look at the animals. I mean, the pigs, they're muddy. Look at the cows. They look like cows in real life. I love this thing. This is an absolutely amazing way to see this game. Look at the torches, look at the trees. I mean, even snow looks so much better. The cobble looks awesome. It absolutely looks amazing. All right, let's run just a little bit. See if I can't, whoa. Oh, that's a trap door. It's hiding a villager. Hi, villager dude. Dude, this, oh, my inventory is a disaster. <laughs> Oh, uh, dude, we'll put you back in there. You can go back to sleep. I mean, look at the farms. This is crazy. I'm gonna see what the snow dude looks like. A snow golem. Wow, look at the crops. Nice. What up, homie? <laughs> I mean, look at this. This is crazy how good this looks. All right, let's go over to the nether. Now they have said that the nether is not ready for prime time, nor is the end. They're still trying to figure out the colors over there, but I wanna at least see what Wow, the textures look like. Nice! There's no pillar over there anymore. All right, are there any bad guys hiding out over here? Look at the cobble, the cobble looks crazy. Dude, hey, buddy. Nice, I love it. <laughs> and there we have it. We have ray tracing on an existing world. And you can do this for any of the four. Wow, look at that. Nice, I love it. I love it a lot. You can do this for any of the four texture packs that I showed you. Go ahead and make this day so we can see what it looks like during the day. Come on, cooperate. Uh, you can also go over, uh, time. You can also go over and you can grab the resource packs from the world that they put. Wow. The six worlds that they put in the store. Some of this is rendering. And look how cool this looks. Dude, ray tracing is amazing in Minecraft. I absolutely love it. So I'll put out a video in the next couple of days and I'll show you guys how to take stuff that is 
from the store and use the behavior packs and the resource packs that come with those maps so that you can try out really anything that comes from the store, but we'll focus on the ones that are showing ray tracing. But look at the cactus. Look at the grass. Look at the chests, the pumpkins, the melons, the sugar cane. This is amazing. Are there any bad guys up here? That'd be something I would love to be able to show off, but we'll see. Are they here or are they napping because it's daytime? Whoa, dude. Very dark. Let's find a torch. Wow. Everything looks different. <laughs> nice. This is amazing. I mean, look. Look at the torches. And they have real light. It's awesome. I love this. I'm gonna keep messing around with this. I might even switch Four Pillar over to uh, one of the ray tracing texture packs. It might just be this one and then I run the risk of being in the beta, but it's probably worth taking. Look at the trees. I love it. Guys, I hope you have fun with this. Go mess with this. Uh, break it as much as you can so that we give Mojang as much feedback as we can possibly give them to make sure that this is an absolutely awesome thing to give us. I'm gonna have a link down in the description to the bug tracker. Uh, and then down there, right above the description, there are a couple of thumbs. There's one that goes up. Make sure you guys click that. If you guys are new here, make sure you subscribe. And I really appreciate you guys hanging out today. I hope you enjoyed the video. Have fun with ray tracing in Minecraft. And I'll see you guys in the next one, this is Centronet, and I'm out.